Chapter 10 Space Mission Students, in this chapter, we shall study important points like Space missions Artificial satellites Classification of artificial satellites Orbits of artificial satellites Satellite launch vehicles Space missions away from the Earth. We shall study these topics in details. Can you recall? 1. What is the difference between space and sky? Answer. The sky is the region in which sunlight is scattered in the Earth's atmosphere making it visible from the surface of the planet. But space is everything beyond that. Space can also be defined as a vast area with no atmosphere. The sky includes all objects as far as we can see outside of the Earth. 2. What are different objects in the solar system? Answer. The different objects found in our solar system are the sun, eight planets, five dwarf planets, 181 moons, 5,66,000 asteroids and 3,100 comets. Three, what is meant by a satellite? Answer, satellite is an artificial body placed in orbit round the earth or another planet in order to collect information or for communication. 4. How many natural satellites does the earth have? Answer. Earth has only one natural satellite that is moon. Man has always been curious about unknown places and he has always been eager to expand the horizons of his knowledge by exploring the unknown world. He must have had deep curiosity about the space and the many twinkling stars in the dark sky. He must have had dreams to fly to the space and must have been working for that. Have you ever wondered what space is like? Substantial developments in technology, especially space technology, in the latter half of 20th century resulted in the development of spacecrafts making space voyage possible. Since then, more than a thousand artificial satellites have been placed into orbits around the Earth. Additionally, Space missions have been undertaken for close observation of various objects in our solar system. We will learn about all this in this chapter. We can classify the space missions into two categories. In one type of missions, the objective is to put artificial satellites in orbits around the Earth for research and various other useful applications. The objective of second type of missions is to send the spacecrafts to outer space for close observations and understanding of the objects in solar system or even outside the solar system. Do you know the first person to go into the space in a spacecraft was Yuri Gagarin of the then USSR. He orbited the Earth in 1961. The first person to step on the moon in 1969 was Neil Armstrong of USA. Rakesh Sharma of India orbited the Earth in 1984 in a Russian spacecraft. Kalpana Chavla and Sunita Williams of Indian origin also participated in space explorations through missions organized by NASA, that is, National Aeronautics and Space Administration of USA.
can you recall which types of telescopes are orbiting around the earth why is it necessary to put them in space answer x-ray and gamma ray telescopes are usually orbiting around the earth in space, however, telescopes are able to get a clearer shot of everything from exploding stars to other galaxies. Another disadvantage for ground-based telescopes is that the Earth's atmosphere absorbs much of the infrared and ultraviolet light that passes through it. Space telescopes can detect these waves. Can you tell where does the signal in your cell phone come from? The signal in our cell phone comes from mobile towers. Where does it come to the mobile towers? Where does the signal to your TV set come from? Mobile towers and TV sets receive signals from satellites. You may have seen photographs showing the position of monsoon clouds over the country in the newspaper. How are these images obtained? These images are obtained from satellite launched in Earth orbit. Need and importance of space missions. The world has become a global village due to space missions. Today, we can contact a person in any part of the world within a second. We can gather information about worldwide events sitting at home. You all know the importance of internet. Due to internet, every information is available at our fingertips. It has become possible to get advance alert about natural calamities and take proper precautions. Is it not so? During war, it is possible to get information about the actions of the enemy through aerial surveillance using satellites. It is also possible to explore the fossil reserves and minerals in the earth. Thus, there are unlimited applications of space missions. Today, space technology is an inevitable part of development of a nation. Inevitable means sure to happen. Artificial satellite A natural satellite is an astronomical object orbiting the Earth or any other planet. The Moon is the only natural satellite of the Earth. Some other planets in the solar system have more than one natural satellite. Similarly, if a man-made object revolves around the Earth or any other planet in a fixed orbit, it is called an artificial satellite. The first artificial satellite, Sputnik, was sent to space by Soviet Union in 1957. Today, more than 1,000 satellites are orbiting the Earth. The satellites work on solar energy. So, solar photovoltaic panels are attached on both sides of these satellites like wings. Instruments are installed in the satellites to receive and transmit signals from and to the Earth. The satellites have various other types of instruments depending on their functions. One such satellite is shown in figure. Signals transmitted from the Earth to the satellite and from the satellite to a mobile tower and mobile phone are also shown. These satellites are sent into the space to perform various functions. Depending on their functions, satellites are classified into following categories. Let's have a look. Type of satellite and its functions. Here's a table showing type of satellite, function of the satellite, the name of Indian satellite series and their launch vehicles. Weather satellite is used for the study and prediction of weather. 
The name of Indian satellite series and launch vehicle is INSAT and GSAT. Launcher is GSLV. Communication satellite. Its function is to establish communication between different locations in the world through use of specific waves. Name is INSAT and GSAT. Launcher is GSLV. Next type of satellite, broadcast satellite. Its function is for telecasting of television programs. Name is INSAT and GSAT. Launcher is GSLV. Next type of satellite, navigational satellite. Function is to fix the location of any place on the Earth's surface in terms of its very precise latitude and longitude. Name is IRNSS. Launcher is PSLV. Next is military satellite. It collects information for security aspects. Next is Earth Observation Satellite. Its function is study of forests, deserts, oceans, polar ice on the Earth's surface, exploration and management of natural resources, observation and guidance in case of natural calamities like flood and earthquake. Its name is IRS. Launcher is PSLV. Use of ICT Prepare a PowerPoint presentation showing India's contribution in space research and present it in the class. Here are a few of the satellites launched by India. INSAT Indian National Satellite GSAT Geosynchronous Satellite IRNSS Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System IRS Indian Remote Sensing Satellite GSLV Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle Internet is my friend Watch and share with others the given website Orbits of artificial satellites All artificial satellites do not revolve in similar orbits around the Earth. The functions of the satellite decide the height of the satellite's orbit from the Earth's surface, the nature of the orbit, whether it will be circular or elliptical, and whether the orbit shall be parallel to equator or making some angle with it. To put the satellite in its proper orbit at specific height above the Earth's surface, the satellite is taken to that height using a satellite launcher. Then, the satellite is given a specific velocity known as the critical velocity, Vc, in a tangential direction to the orbit. The satellite then starts revolving around the Earth. The formula for the critical velocity Vc can be derived as below. If a satellite of mass m is revolving around the Earth in an orbit of height h with speed Vc, then as seen in the chapter on gravitation, a centripetal force mvc square upon r will act on it. Here R is the orbital radius of the satellite from the center of the Earth. The centripetal force is provided by the gravity of the Earth. Therefore, centripetal force is equal to gravitational force between the Earth and the satellite. mvc square by R plus H is equal to gmm upon R plus H whole square, where G is equal to gravitational constant, which equals 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square. M is equal to mass of the earth, which equals 6 into 10 raised to 24 kg. 
R is equal to radius of the earth, which equals 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 m, or it equals 6,400 kilometer. H is equal to height of the satellite above earth's surface. R plus H is equal to radius of the orbit of satellite. Vc square is equal to gm by R plus H. Vc is equal to square root gm upon R plus H. Let this be equation 1. It can be seen that the critical velocity does not depend on the mass of the satellite. As the height of the satellite's orbit from the Earth's surface increases, the critical velocity decreases. Depending on the height of the satellite's orbit above the Earth's surface, the satellite orbits are classified as high Earth orbit, medium Earth orbit and low Earth orbit. Let's get detailed information about these. High Earth Orbits Here, height from the Earth's surface is greater than 35,780 kilometers. If the height of the satellite's orbit above the Earth's surface is greater than or equal to 35,780 kilometers, the orbit is called high earth orbit. As we will see in the next solved example, a satellite revolving in an orbit 35,780 kilometers above the earth's surface will take around 24 hours to complete one revolution. We know that the earth also takes almost 24 hours for one revolution. If the satellite is revolving in an orbit parallel to the equator, the time of revolution for the Earth around itself and that for the satellite to revolve around the Earth being the same and the satellite will appear to be stationary with respect to the Earth. For a passenger in one vehicle, another vehicle moving parallel to him with equal velocity appears to be stationary. This is what happens here also. These satellites are therefore called geosynchronous satellites. Since these satellites are stationary with reference to the Earth, they can observe a specific portion of the Earth continuously. Therefore, they are used in applications like meteorology and for carrying signals for telephone, television, radio, etc. Medium Earth Orbit Here, height above the Earth's surface is 2,000 km to 35,780 km. If the height of the satellite orbit above the Earth's surface is in between 2,000 km and 35,780 km, the orbits are called Medium Earth Orbits. The geostationary satellites orbit above the equator. A geostationary satellite is an Earth-orbiting satellite placed directly over the equator that revolves in the same direction the Earth rotates. These are therefore not useful in the study of polar regions. For this purpose, elliptical medium Earth orbits passing over the polar region are used. These orbits are called polar orbits. In these orbits, the satellites complete one revolution in 2 to 24 hours. Some of these satellites revolve in circular orbits at a height of around 20,200 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Global positioning satellites revolve in such orbits. Low Earth Orbits Height above the Earth's surface 180 km to 2000 km If the height of the satellite orbit above the Earth's surface is in between 180 km and 2000 km the orbits are called Low Earth Orbits 
The satellites used for scientific experiments and atmospheric studies revolve in low Earth orbits. Depending on the height of their orbits, they complete one revolution in around 90 minutes. International Space Station and Hubble Telescope also revolve in low Earth orbits. This figure shows various orbits of satellites. Solve examples. Example 1. Suppose the orbit of a satellite is exactly 35,780 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Determine the tangential velocity of the satellite. Given g is equal to 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kg square. m is equal to 6 into 10 raised to 24 kg for earth. r is equal to 6400 kilometer for earth which equals 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meters. h is equal to height of the satellite above the earth's surface which is 35,780 kilometers. What is V? R plus H is equal to 6,400 plus 35,780 which equals 42,180 into 10 raised to 3 meters. V is equal to square root GM upon R plus H. Let's substitute the values. Square root 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 into 6 into 10 raised to 24 by 42,180 into 10 raised to 3 meters, which equals square root 40.02 into 10 raised to 13 by 42,180 into 10 raised to 3, which equals square root. 40.02 by 42,180 into 10 raised to 10, which equals square root 0 0.00098790 into 10 raised to 10, which equals square root 94,87,909. V is equal to 3080.245 meter per second, which equals 3.08 kilometer per second. Example 2. In the previous example, how much time the satellite will take to complete one revolution around the Earth? Given height of the satellite above the Earth's surface, 35,780 kilometer. Velocity of the satellite is equal to 3.08 kilometer per second. Solution. Suppose the satellite takes T seconds to complete one revolution around the Earth. The distance travelled during this one revolution is equal to the circumference of the circular orbit. If R is the radius of the orbit, the satellite will travel a distance 2 pi r during one revolution. Thus, the time required for one complete revolution can be obtained as follows. V is equal to distance upon time, which equals circumference upon time, which equals 2 pi r upon t. So, V is equal to 2 pi r upon t or t is equal to 2 pi r upon v. Further, it equals 2 pi into r plus h upon v. Substituting the values, t is equal to 2 into 3.14 into 6400 plus 35780 divided by 3.08, which equals 86,003.38 seconds which equals 20 hours or 23 hours, 54 minutes. Here, since the velocity is taken in the units of kilometers per second, 
The radius is also taken in unit of kilometers. Or on an unpopulated land. As the fuel in the first stage is exhausted, the fuel in the second stage is ignited. However, the vehicle now contains only one, that is, the second stage. The weight now being reduced, the vehicle can move with higher speed. Almost all vehicles are made of either two or more stages. As an example, the structure of a polar satellite launch vehicle, PSLV, developed by ISRO of India, is shown in figure. The launch vehicles are costly because they can be used only once. USA has therefore developed space shuttle which returns to the earth except for the fuel tank and can be reused in multiple launches. So the planet which equals 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meters for earth. Escape velocity is equal to square root 2 into 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 into 6 into 10 raised to 24 upon 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 which equals 11.18 into 10 raised to 3 meter per second which equals 11.18 kilometer per second. Thus, if a spacecraft is to escape the Earth's gravitational force to travel to the outer space, it must have minimum velocity of 11.2 km per second. Pre-made during the mission was the presence of water on the moon's surface. India was the first country to discover this.